up guys welcome to another video tutorial guide session and in today's video tutorial guide i have with me five secret editing trick you probably did know on pixel lab that you need to know so at the end of this video tutorial guide you have learned about five secret editing trick on pixel lab that you probably have not seen or have not had or you have always been wondering how it has been done on pixel lab so i'll be showing you these five secret editing trick on pixel lab so kindly wait till to the end of this video tutorial guide to get all of these five trick and if i were you i wait to see the number four and number five and i may even have a bonus for you if you stay to the end of this video tutorial guide so without further ado let's get right Right into this five secret editing trick using pixel lab editing with our smartphone so now once again welcome to this youtube channel if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and make sure you like this video now make sure you like the video now and at this end of today's video tutorial guide make sure you share this video to your designer and creative friends let them also learn and grow together now let's get right into this video and the number one secret editing trick i want to show you is how you can create breaking lines using pixel lab let me show you what i'm talking about how to create breaking lines using pixel lab so enable a test like this if you want to create a, a breaking line using pixel lab so go over to this edit and you need to go and locate you need to locate this feature so let me go over here so you go over to your keyboard on your smartphone you need to locate this dash feature on your keyboard so you click on it as many times as you want so with this now you'll be able to create a dash line let me let me change the color to black so it's more visible so can you see this now so when you create something like this you can can you see this dash line you can create can you see how you can create this dash line using your phone using your pixel lab so you can even change the font into something that you want let me just let me go with i had with this one and uh, you can even go to the spacing increase the spacing and can you see what you have here now you have been able to create lines dash lines using pixel lab and the number two ways you can also use in creating this dash line using pixel labs let me show you the number two way go over to this draw tool or not just locate the draw tool on the pixel lab and select a color that you want I'll go with this black color let me reduce this pen size to something like two and make sure you next thing know is to locate this dash line so when you locate this dash line so you can begin to draw now so when you have done all this setting that i've done to it now you can begin to draw can you see you have a dash line using pixel lab so this is the number one trick i want to show you the number one secret edit trick you need to know about pixel lab if you don't know this before so now let me cancel this now and let me close this right over here now so now over to the second number two secret arc you probably don't know about pixel lab is how you can create straight lines using pixel lab also how you can create straight lines using pixel lab so go over to text again and let's select this text so you need to go over to that same feature on your keyboard and go go select this second one this second one is called underscore the first one is more like a dash and this second one is called underscore so they are two they are, they are two different things so you need to locate this second one and click on it as many times as you want you can also use this first one but i advise you to use this underscore for you on how you can create a straight line so when you create it as many times as you want like this now so go over to your front go back to front you just go select another front that you can work ahead with it so select another front like this so when you select another front can you see what we have over here let me zoom in let me change the color let me change the color of that text and you will see that we already have a straight line using that we already have a straight line using this underscore using this underscore so this is the second uh secret editing arc you need to know about on pixel lab and the number two uh, there's another way you can also create a straight line using pixel lab is through the use of busy tools so go over to this button this middle button on down part of pixel lab and click on this busy out so when you click on this busy out tool it is enabled you have gotten the uh, busy out tool on pixel lab now so to do that you just have to begin to work around this this like this let me undo this let me undo sorry so enable the busy tool one more time go over to this one over here now so so if you want there's also an other details video on how to use this busy tool to create a maiden sub i may leave a link in the description to access how you can also use this busy tool perfectly or you can go to the channel you will know how to use this busy tool perfectly but for this video i'll, I'll only be showing you how you can use this busy to create a straight line using pixel lab so to do that now go over to this uh, click on this first one like this 
click on this first one like this now click on this first one like this okay like this now so go back to this middle feature this one over here now and make sure you make sure the line touches the second one make sure the line touches that second point that second point on or uh, on this visual tool and make sure you click on this second one too make sure the line also touches the second point on this piece on this on the second point also i'm sure you get the good uh, uh, the the trick about this now so the first line the first uh, dot right here must touch the second dot on the other on the left hand side and the left dot must touch the second one and you will have something like look at the first one we did with text this was the first one and look at the one we did with bezel too so this is how you can create uh, a line you can create a straight line using pixel lab using the details tool and using the bezel tool now so let's go over to the third secret arc uh secret arc you can create you probably don't know about in pixel lab and the secret arc i want to show you in this video is how you can save text effects we on your pixel lab let's for example let's say you created a design and you work on an amazing text effect. let me see if i have a text effect that i can use for this video over here now let me just go back. okay let me use this um let me let me i think i saw one over here now okay let me show you this this design i was i was working on currently on, on now so this was a text effect this was an effect i just created this text effect with some amazing tool now so let's for example you also you work on a design and you created a text effect maybe accidentally or somehow somehow and you want to use it maybe for your next project let me show you how you can save it to your mobile phone and anytime you want to use this on another project you can easily access it so when you get to that let's make sure you are on that text just like i'm on this text like this go over to this a button and you click on this style click on this style on this down part of a when you click on that style you will have two two buttons that pop up which is browse and save so click on this save feature when you click on this save feature you bring it to bring this to say save the current text as a new text effect so just click on ok and it will save it to your pc lab so now let me show you how you cannot access it maybe you want to work on it on any other project let's say i want to work on a new project now and i want to use that test features we saved earlier so let's say this is the test right over here now so you have to go over to this a again go over to this style and you look at this browse feature when you get to that browse feature make sure you go to this my test and you'll be able to select this was the one i saved the and look at all the other one i have on my own pc lab but look at the one we saved recently this is it over here can you see now that we can access that text effect that we saved earlier so this is how you can use or how you can consistently use certain type of text effects on your next project so if you don't know about this now please like this video now and subscribe to the channel and wait for more amazing thing on this youtube channel so now this is the third or uh, third editing trick or uh, secret editing trick you need to know on pc lab that you probably don't know before now so now over to the fifth over to the fourth fourth secret editing trick you need to know you probably don't know about pc lab and you need to know about the fifth one i want to show you is how you can use multiple fonts on the particular text if you don't get it just wait now let me show you so when you let's say for example you have a text right over here and let me edit this text like this let me see if i have a saved font okay let's say i have this over here now so i have this let me just delete this part so let's say i have this multiple front uh, this multiple text right on pc lab. let me reduce the size and let's say let me show you the the, the arcana so just go back to front go over to font here now let's say you go to my font you know normally some people when they want to select front you just have to select this and you are done you click on okay but now i want to show you how you can use multiple fonts multiple typeface on the particular text without breaking or you no know, changing the text now so for example now let's say you just need to follow this alight follow this blue alight now you need to select the kind of font so let's say for example i have this right over here now i want let's say i want to use a different font a different typeface for this particular alight I tell to I let it uh this I let it blue stuff on Pizella. So everything I will be doing on this font will only apply to this highlighted blue places. So let me show you what I'm talking about in close. Let's I want to use an, a different font so I can use a different font like this on even a particular image. Or let me use this one like this. Can you see? Let me show you. See, can you see that we have been able to use two or more? I think you can even use three or more. Let's go, let's see if you can use three or more, even for that. So let's let me take this right over here now. Let me see if we can use three fonts let's see if i use three fonts 
wow so can you see now that we can even even use three extra fonts we can use three or more fonts on a particular text as many as you want so this is an app that you probably don't know about see, can you can you see that is the reason why you should even share this video to people for them to also learn so this is how you can use this uh, this particular app to use four or more as many fonts as you want on a particular text remember you cannot use more than three fonts is valid. according to the principle of design you cannot use more than three fonts for a particular design but you can just work on that around the confine of this this is how you can use multiple fonts multiple typeface on a particular text but the last part on this video tutorial guide and the last one on the five secret editing trick you probably didn't know about on PZ Lab. The last one is similar to this now. The similar one is how you can use multiple color on a particular text layer just like this. Now, remember the one we did earlier was how you can use different fonts or typeface on a particular text layer. But now I'll be showing you how you can use different color on a particular text layer. So just go back to the color, locate the color icon right over here now. So you can select, let's say you can use this first color for you can use the red one you can see, just follow through now see you can use uh, for this part of this uh, of this space you can use the red column and you can even a light a light like this and you can even use a different type of color for this so can you see i can use a uh, red or uh, um, yellow for this other font and let's say i want to use blue for this uh, other parts of this text let's for example i can use blue for this other part of this test can you see i was able to use three or more color just on a particular test layer so you can also do this on pixel lab if you can just follow everything i've just showed you in this video so this is the fifth fifth editing trick i you probably didn't know about on pixel lab so if you have watched watch this video up to this moment and out of this trick i've shown you and you don't know any you can easily comment in the comment this comment section and just tell me which of this trick you probably didn't know before and you are what you've learned in this video now so to the end this is the end of today's video tutorial guide if you find this trick helpful if you find this amazing feature helpful right on pixel lab please make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and go through this channel there are numerous tricks and knack on pixel lab that you probably don't know about that you need to know so go over to this channel and check out those videos for you to also learn so thank you for watching this video see you at the next video and make sure you share this video to your creative friends Peace out.